This is Kingdom Sound TV. You are welcome. On this channel, we share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Praise, give Jesus praise, give Jesus praise. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Please, whilst whilst still standing, I'd like us to honor the angel over this house, Apostle Goodheart and his dear wife. I love you, sir. I truly do. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. It remains an honor for me to be a blessing to the body even through this platform and I do not take it for granted. I honor every servant of God, every man, every woman, Pastor Opie and your dear husband. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we trust you and that is why we are here. We believe in your power to walk wonders in the midst of your people. We have come trusting. We have come believing. We have come to learn. We have come to be transformed. We have come to obtain testimonies that validate once again that in spite of all that has happened and is happening in our world, you still remain Lord of all. And so I pray, O oh God, tonight that there will be the hearing of faith and even the workings of miracles. Move in our midst. Glorify Jesus. Let our hearts be so edified in the name of Jesus. Bless our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please be seated. Be seated. Again, it's an honor to be here. Um, I, I really sense that the Lord would have us pray a bit tonight. I know that this is an apostolic ministry. And um, prayer is powerful. Praise the Lord. I also believe that somewhere in the course of this service this short session that i have that the lord will stretch his mighty hand to heal to deliver to transform in the name of jesus christ praise the name of the lord so i'll just lay a foundation to start off my um the sessions and um i believe that it's been a wonderful time romans chapter 15 and verse 19 If you want to title my teaching tonight, you can call it Instruments of Deliverance, Part 1. Romans 15 and verse 19. If it's possible and you can see it, let's read together in concert. Ready? One to read. Through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Lyconium did I pronounce that well if I didn't just mention whatever you see I have fully preached the gospel of Christ I have fully preached the gospel of Christ that means that the gospel cannot be said to be fully preached until there is a dimension of it that captures and reveals signs and wonders Paul is speaking and it's like a checklist and he's saying on the strength of this and that and that I can stand with confidence to say I have fully preached the gospel please keep that scripture there it then means it is possible for the gospel to be preached but not fully preached and I think that we live in a time where there is an increased need to capture other dimensions of the gospel that sadly are gradually fading. Our fathers handed to us a very complete gospel. A gospel that captured the whole counsel of God. Are we together? And now through the years and through the vicissitudes of life we began to edit the gospel 
and remove certain dimensions of the gospel that make it powerful and make it worth hearing and one of it is the miraculous and the supernatural for some reason we found a way to reduce the gospel from the realm of supernatural power to the realm that only relates to the intellect and now don't get me wrong there is a dimension of the gospel that relates to the intellect because a true gospel must transform society and we must draw values from the gospel the gospel is both a message and an ideology there are two dimensions to the gospel the gospel is first a message that saves then it is an ideology that seeks to enthrone Christ and his purposes across every strata of human activities so these dimensions must be captured in our idea of what the Bible calls the gospel but in a bid to preach and advance the frontier kingdom, I would call it an attack on the body of Christ gradually gradually certain dimensions of the gospel began to fade are we together now yes and there is an explanation for that but then it looked like we started experiencing what Gideon experienced because when the angel of the Lord came to Gideon his contemplation and his discussion was where are the signs i know one time you said god moved and i'm i'm not i'm not part of this now you don't come and tell me something that i'm i'm, I'm not convinced where are the signs listen if these dimensions of the gospel are not restored then it takes only one generation of neglect and many people will not be able to define God by all the attributes that truly make him God again. A time will come when God will become a philosophy, no longer a reality. Then we will reduce him and edit him based on the templates of our experiences. Through signs and wonders, he said, from Jerusalem I have fully preached the gospel. I came from a background where I didn't have the opportunity to see the miracle working power of God. Very well intentioned, sincere evangelical background, full of people with character, morality, but I knew something was missing in our understanding of God. The sick went back sick. The oppressed went back oppressed. I used to sing hymns those days that said so many things we could not prove and the service would finish and people would go back as though we were playing as though we were acting as though we were lying they would sing songs about the might of God sing songs about his miracles how he parted the Red Sea we would admonish ourselves with psalms, hymns and spiritual songs and it will end only in theory then the preacher would come most well-intentioned personality and you could see a desire if only i had the grace to reveal the wonder working power of god you would even see people cry and the painful part of that service is when we have to share the grace without transformation without an evidence people would walk through that door hoping that god were not a scam We are here for you. Come, Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you will do what Here's the word now. We need a move. We need a move. The first time I would watch a preacher capture a dimension of God my heart so desired, 
Some, you, you see, the thing about God is that He designed man to need the fullness of Him. No matter what dimension of God you have experienced, while you get satisfied by being filled with one dimension, that same encounter leaves you hungry for the other part of God. It was a system designed by His intelligence to make sure man never gets exhausted seeking Him. So when you come to Him, His first assignment is to fill the current hunger. Then his, it, it causes you to, to want another dimension again. That rhyme is called eternity. He put it in man. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we have seen the God who saves. We have seen the God who is kind. But very few people have seen the dimension of God that we call the God of wonders. Hallelujah. Jesus in Luke chapter 11. Let me just introduce my discourse for tonight. Jesus in Luke chapter 11 please. You give us from verse 1. Please be patient with the reading. The Bible says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of the disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. Now, the disciples had walked with Jesus for a while and they noticed the dimension of wonder and power. He, he seemed invincible. It was as though there was nothing that was not within his reach as far as the purposes of the Father was concerned. Remember this scripture, please give it back to us. This was not talking about prayerlessness. They were already praying. This was talking about prayer that did not produce results. The disciples were frustrated. There was something about their prayer life. It wasn't producing results. They were tired of going to the synagogue. And here the, the, the Pentateuch or the Psalms, you know, they would read it and chant it and say a lot of things. Remember that one of the members in that parish was a woman who had been bound for 18 years. Are we still Bible students? I can imagine what was in the mind of that woman. Every time they read about the God who parted the Red Sea, etc. The woman would sit there and say, God, where are you? Is there anything too hard? Ah! Then comes Jesus. Now I love Jesus. He does not just say, He does. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, he said, for he hath anointed me. The Bible says it was given to him, the scroll of Esaias. And when he took it, he began to read the Messianic prophecy. And then he said, this day, not tomorrow, let this be a prophecy for someone. It will be this day. No delay again, this day, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. He said, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears and he saw a man with a withered hand no explanation no excuses mr man stretch your hands the gospel that captures power that captures dimensions of the supernatural back to luke chapter 11 so the disciples came to him verse 1 and they said teach us to pray that means reveal to us a formula that is hidden in your prayer life that has results to show for it something about the barrenness in our prayer is frustrating our experience can you teach us and notice jesus didn't say oh dear i, I think you're just being humble he knew something was wrong with their prayer lives next verse please verse two and he said unto them when ye pray Something is wrong. I, I love Jesus. Now he's helping them. This is deliverance happening. And the first assignment is to reconstruct their understanding. He says, When you pray, say, Our Father. That is the first revelation of prayer. Now I'm not really teaching on prayer. There's, there's somewhere we're going, but just as an introduction. He says, When you pray, Come to God with a consciousness that He is Abba. The word Abba means He is source, 
He is sustainer and defender. That means something about your not understanding God is affecting the results that you get from Him. He says when you come to God, you must come with this consciousness that He is Abba. And the principal quality of fathers is that they give. If you being evil, He said, know how to give. Not just how to lead. Not just how to talk. A true father is a giver. Automatically, that takes away the doubt and fear. Will God do it? Will God heal? Will his outstretched hand come? We are talking of Abba. Father. So he says, when you pray, come with this consciousness. Number one, our father. Number two, your interaction with God will require faith. Because he is in a realm that is not earthly. Which art in heaven so it informs you immediately that this interaction is between two realms that even though you are on earth and he's in heaven there is still a technology that can sponsor communication that means faith you must come in faith which art in heaven number three that you come with the spirit of reverence hallowed be your name that the consciousness of the benevolence of the father should not lead to carelessness that you must come with a sense of reverence next verse please keep it for us there it says thy kingdom come that means that your desire and your prayer more than your needs being met should be his kingdom coming that means that the root cause of your prayer request in the first place is because his kingdom is not there that if you focus on his kingdom coming you may not even need to pray other prayers again your kingdom come how it tells you how the kingdom comes on earth by your will being done that everywhere his will is done his kingdom comes and that it should come in earth notice it never said on earth in earth and the first earth is you so your kingdom come and your will be done in my life as this portion and piece of earth this is my we're getting close to my verse of emphasis now number three give us this day our daily bread wow he would have said give us this day food but he's saying according to the law of my benevolence there is an allocation that is daily i'm speaking to someone here not monthly not weekly not yearly you can he says give us our daily bread not our bread that means every 24 hour it recycles in the spirit god is able and willing to supply for the day Give us day by day or this day our daily bread. Verse 4. It says and forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone that is indebted to us. Very powerful. This is a revelation of mercy. That whilst you obtain mercy from God, you must know that you are dealing with the realm of men. And that means your heart must be positioned to communicate out of the abundance of that which you have received. Here is my discourse tonight and lead us not into temptation this is a call for discernment that we are living in an environment where not everything is exactly as it looks therefore we will need discernment it's an advocacy lead us not into temptation there is something about your leadership but there are times when the evil will not come because of your carelessness there are times when the evil will come because of the territory where you reside it says when you find yourself in that situation it's no longer an issue of your carelessness that when you get to that time the prayer is deliver us from evil lead us not into temptation you have a personal responsibility to walk with the spirit of god discerning what to do where to go but there are times that the things that happen to you are things that are common to men it says at such time deliver us from evil please look up according to scripture the wonders of god among many functions the principal reason for the wonder of god is 
is a demonstration of his love his might his providence and as a system of judgment are we together now over the kingdom of darkness is always an advocacy of the exodus of his people to the place of destiny the principal instrument of deliverance in scripture is the wonder walking power of god so when the god of wonders wants to show up there has to be an occasion where the threat the pride and 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 the challenge of darkness is buffeting his people he does not just come as savior he comes with the god of wonders signs that dumbfound the minds of all and sundry is it's like a signature it's like god stretching himself again and saying i'm still the monarch of the universe very very powerful deuteronomy chapter 26 and verse 8 please Shilaka deuteronomy 26 and verse 8 and the lord brought us forth from out of egypt egypt is a land of wizardry a land of slavery and captivity he brought us forth out of egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders psalm 66 verse 3 says say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways it says through the greatness of thy power not just desire people of god it takes more than desire to experience the fullness of god in the wicked world that we live in he said through the greatness of your power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee an instrument of deliverance psalm 30 from verse 11 please just looking at a few scriptures psalm 30 verse 11 it says thou hast turned for me i receive it for myself thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing it says thou have put up my sackcloth and girded me with gladness verse 12 it says to the end that my glory may sing praise unto thee and not be silent oh lord my god i will give thanks to you you have turned my morning to dancing something about your hand is it not in your bible that when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said he did it in a spectacular way it was like a dream the recipients of that miracle could not even comprehend the dynamics of their own deliverance he says turn again the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev deliver us from evil there is something about man John chapter 4 and verse 48 there is something about the fallen man that because of the nature of men outside of the influence of the spirit they would require a spectacular display a dimension of power a dimension of the might of god that generally the bible says where the carcasses are it says there the eagles will gather there's something about men and things that are usual they don't seem it looks like the lifespan of honor for men does not is is very short the moment they see a thing and they can discern the dynamics around it when they conquer it they no longer value it this is this is a weakness in men so when men see something that is spectacular their next assignment is through the instrument of science or divination to unravel the mystery behind that process if they successfully unravel the mystery behind that process they will no longer be afraid of it the dynamism of god's wonders is such that no man can articulate the extent the dynamics you cannot decipher the dynamics how god will come he will choose a method only left to his intelligence so you expect him to pass the red sea and he says you walk on water he has you he has he has a variety of ways and the goal is to force the pride of man to admit the fact that there is a god in heaven 
you would read through scripture that almost there are few miracles that repeated themselves in the bible it's a technology to keep men humble because men dishonor what they are used to it's a weakness in men please follow me carefully there is a principal weakness in men when they are used to people when they are used to processes when they are used to things the more familiar they become with people with places with things their honor also drops and so god invented a strategy to keep men in awe of him and the name given to that strategy is the signs and wonders manifestations of his power so sometimes you expect him to show up for you through an uncle that based on your parameter you have calculated it you have gauged the extent of benevolence and if only you were assisted a little and god will say not so if i do it that way you will be confused whether it was just his will or it was my contribution i will use someone did i not say strangers will feed your flock let me tell you this you know it is god when it is marvelous he said if it is the lord's doing the way we celebrate God on receiving our testimonies almost show that he you can almost say he did not have a hand in it the, the way it happens so casual you read your Bible there is nothing casual about God if it is God and he shows up he must leave a signature that will leave you in tears there are times that it's your knees that will give the testimony not your mouth you, you, you go down on your knees and you wonder an instrument of deliverance because you see Pharaoh Pharaoh is not a child Pharaoh is not even a pure man Pharaoh is a wizard Pharaoh had been mentored through the art of wizardry and so when Moses came to him and said Pharaoh thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews let my people go I can imagine Ramesses his half brother saying Pharaoh I mean Moses why why have you come to embarrass yourself you would have spent your remaining days in the wilderness now you have come to test egypt and he said well i'm not going to talk so much he threw his rod his rod became a serpent and pharaoh laughed he said this is all you've got this is egypt moses this is not the wilderness janus jambes bring your rod let this man know we have unraveled the realm of the spirit that far i can imagine god watching say keep ah rejoice not over me my enemy there is still more in god all you've seen is not all he has god has mysterious arsenals of deliverance and i'm telling you you don't dare him to release them because there is something god can do that both you and the enemy will keep there will no longer be war both of you will stand in awe and said now who is this one the king of the universe honestly speaking there are not many people who have seen the wonder working power of god we have seen principles work but we have not seen the wonder working power of god you see principles lead to predictable outcomes it's still a dimension of god's power that sponsors them but the wonder working power of god uh-uh There were miracles that were performed on people and Jesus begged them and said, please don't talk. They were too grateful to keep quiet. And I believe in the name of Jesus standing in faith with the apostle over this house. That someone listening in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to you by the grace and by the mercy of God. That between now and even tomorrow morning in the name that is above all names you will not only receive wonders you will return a wonder yourself <laughs> exodus chapter 3 and verse 20 the wonder of god as an instrument of deliverance pharaoh does not let people go because they want to go there is there is a dimension of the outstretched arm of god that compels darkness to release you listen to me 
Now, by the grace of God, I know that we love the Lord, but I think there is something that has been a burden for me, sir. Many believers do not know how determined Satan is. Now, the Bible does not tell us to study Satan, but it tells us to study his strategies. I can tell you one, one of the traits of Satan is his doggedness and his resilience. Just because God said to let you go, just because God said for the door of your destiny to be open, don't you think Satan left Jesus for a while? He reinvented himself and came back through Peter. Reinvented himself and came back through Judas. Satan is that determined. So the idea and the narrative that just because you have access to the tools of redemption, the name, the blood, etc. automatically means your destiny will open up. That kind of thinking itself is an attack. Are we together now? Yes, sir. There is an engaging through understanding. There is a dimension where you will have to call on the power of God to be made manifest for that chain, for that door that would not let you go, to let you go. I know one thing about the realm of the spirit. It only answers to power. It only answers to a dimension of the supernatural. There is no ministry that will grow just by sincere desire. It will take the outstretched arm of God, warding off the gates of hell. It will take the power of God for a business to grow. It will take the power of God for your influence to rise and to be sustained. This I know. Many believers presume that just because they are well intentioned and they are sincere. It means that the devil would not attack them. No. I came to plant an aggression in you because we are going to pray. This is just an introduction. There are, things that, there are things that you must shake tonight and say enough is enough. You see, let me tell you, it is within your power to be angry and to be determined. A holy anger to say in the name of Jesus, this door must open. In the name of Jesus, I press forward. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 20. I will stretch out my hand and I will smite Egypt with all my wonders. Not some. This is what it takes for Egypt to let you go. Not some. Egypt is that stubborn. Please believe what I teach you. Egypt is that stubborn it will take the full weight of God's arsenals all my wonders please give us that scripture which I will do in the midst thereof after that Joshua Selman finally he will let you go after that old businessman that means there is a quality in Satan God is revealing that he can be tired he can be weary to the degree to which you resist the devil there is an assurance that he will flee so if he does not flee it means the resistance is not strong and determined enough i will visit you with my wonders and afterwards he will let you go tonight is just an introduction we are going to pray I truly came with a burden in my heart sharing the burden of your man of God to see that we not just come up with intelligent exegesis of scripture and then return back with our lives with no results. No, no. It is the reason why society continues to look at the church as a nuisance to civilization. There is a dimension of the power of God they are yet to see. That will cause our world to once again sing the songs of Miriam. I will sing unto the Lord, she said, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and even the riders...
there are ministries there are lives there are destinies that have been tied down i came tonight with a clarion call enough is enough except you are still interested uh -uh. enough is enough there is there is there is a determination from the heart of the father that there is a dimension of god that must be captured in your life let me tell you this let me tell you this there are many of our loved ones who served idols for years those idols have produced results that they will not easily let go now i'm, I'm not here to just talk about superstition but let's be sincere with ourselves this idol saved them from war this idol saved them from trouble now you come with a message a very intelligent message and say why don't you throw away everything they tried it for one year they were poor they were broke they suffered they said no way while you are trying to unravel what you are proposing to me let me remain loyal to what has worked for me men do not leave what works this is why there is a mix of tradition and christianity and it still remains in spite of our education and we have the effrontery to tell people to leave sorcery and leave all of this and then we present a gospel that is not complete we have the gods to tell people stop taking drugs and they die because of what we administered and we told them the lord sent us to them so you imagine their definition of such a god and such a king then we sing that since i was young and now i am old we say i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread and something in you says are you not lying listen we must trust god to capture the fullness of his dimensions otherwise our children will ask us questions we will not be able to answer this is not a generation of blind loyalty there must be proof and a basis for their allegiance the fathers that handed down the gospel to us some of them walked in spectacular dimensions their campgrounds today remain a memorial that god came to our soil they interacted with angels not these arbitrary visions that have no proof some of them it was their encounter that birthed certain dimensions of power when we read through scripture did a viper not bite the apostle and he did not die he shook it off oh lord you are my god he says early will i seek you he says my heart longs for you to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary time will fail me he says to talk of men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness we are too scientific and too sociological and too intellectual for impact there has to be a dimension imported that is higher than this realm i tell you we can save a nation in one day if we allow the power of god to be outstretched it is difficult because we are not yielded enough joshua stands to command the son to ah my goodness do you not read your bible did you stop reading it what's the wonder working power these were not parables these were men who walked upon the earth the bible says whom the earth was not worthy of the apostle was teaching i don't know the content of such a lecture that someone fell and died outside and he took an excuse quickly went and raised her back took her up and the lecture continued when an angel appeared to mary her surprise was not the angel it was a frequent occurrence it was the salutation that surprised her when the apostles were praying for those who were bound when they were praying and, and peter was released the bible says when he opened the door when they saw him they closed it back because they thought it was his angel wow how about the raven that came to feed the prophet at brook cherith that was not a parable 
real manna came from heaven this is why you came to church tonight your business is too scientific to glorify Jesus. It's too calculated. We can predict everything. We know what will happen tomorrow. Show me the dimension that has made a customer come. Not just to buy things to say, I have this hand. That there is something about the workings of God in your life. I believe in principles. I believe in doctrine. But I truly believe in signs and wonders. I know you were careless over the rent issue, but now you are in trouble. Is there no way out? If I were God and I called you a child, I will discipline you, but I will not leave you to reproach for my name's sake. So where is that dimension? Why do we look so helpless? And yet we talk about a God who is so benevolent. It looks so difficult to see his hand come. No. People speak to us, they make a mockery of our God and they go and sleep sound and they wake up sound and they say, I said it. I said it. That your advocacy on stage is just acting. My goodness, did you not read of Ananias and Sapphira? The Bible talked about men who lied against the Holy Ghost right there and then in the New Testament. There was a spirit of reverence that came upon the people. We need to trust God to bring back his wonder working power so that one day we will not be preaching and someone will walk on stage and say I am an intellectual and I do not believe your God. In the days of the generals, one time when I think it was Maria Woodward Eater, she was teaching and then some lousy guys were there just talking and saying all kinds of things and the well not the Bible, history says how that she just looked at them and said, God judge you. And the tongue of one protruded. Prayer warriors prayed, prayed, prayed. And nothing happened. And so they created a system of apology and they coordinated themselves with a few people. And they came and said, no, we are really sorry. We recognize that you are sent of God. She merely slapped the tongue and it went back. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. There are dimensions of the power of God. That must be displayed in our territory it will no longer become an issue of religion it will become the issue of the maker and his creation that all and sundry people will run to church and say we are coming to encounter the god of heaven our evangelism is hard we beg people we pray and we plead we say accept jesus now and then the people say well in the book of matthew chapter what and and baseless arguments begin there In history, there were men and women who did not talk. They only walked around cities. As they walked around, they deposited a dimension of God. And as they left shops, malls, people began, fire was burning everywhere. This is called the Revival House of Glory. Let our praying in tongues produce results. In the name of Jesus, may we not become like the disciples. There is, I don't think there is any time in history we are a people of prayer. But many believers are beginning to be frustrated. Because it seems like our word study. We are doing our best. I hope you are not offended. I came to stretch you a bit. We are going to pray. There is nothing more convincing than the power of a personal testimony. I have, I have experienced him myself. Ah, he says the things we have seen, the things we have heard, the things even of the word of life that we have handled, that is what we teach. Hallelujah. Yes. A time came in my life. I was tired of preaching. I was tired of communicating without results. I love the Lord. I still do. I will all the days of my life. But in all fairness, I had the opportunity to pray for a few people on wheelchairs. I had the opportunity to pray for a few cancer patients. 
a few HIV patients and nothing happened. You see, not many people will be sincere with you. Nothing happened. I call upon Jesus. I said I'm not one of the sons of Sceva. At least I'm sure that I love Jesus. I'm born again. What in the world is this? I would go to preach and return back and demons will oppress me. Sincerely. I knew that something was wrong. of wonders is a warrior that arises because of his jealousy he does not arise until there is a reason to doubt his might when when a generation begins to forget him because it looks like there are many alternatives that look like him it's his jealousy that compels him to arise and he does something in a manner and a fashion that reminds people again look at Egypt look at Babylon Nebuchadnezzar built a statue 90 feet and that at the sound of all kinds of things they would bow and God said no this is too much every once in a while men try to believe that they are God I don't mean one with God God so the, the question comes again Psalm 24 who really owns the earth who really owns territories and there will have to be a statement in the earth that the earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Four things there. Number one, the earth. Number two, the resources. Number three, the mind control systems. Number four, the inhabitants. They all belong to Him. It all belongs to you. Oh, it all belongs to Him. It all belongs to you. Oh, hallelujah. Daniel chapter 6, please, and verse 27. I really sense a strong anointing in this place now. He delivereth and rescueth. And he walketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. And by that formula, he had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. The formula he used to rescue Daniel was not a suggestion. It was not a discussion. Are we together now? He used the formula of signs and wonders. His outstretched arm. That means that there are people following online, there are others sitting and saying, Apostle, how is God going to get my family out of this mess? I know the answer. It will not happen by human deliberations. I tell you that. There will need to be an introduction of the power, the grace of God. And it will happen in such a way and a manner that you will spend your life rejoicing and saying, Thank you. Thank you. Lord, the way you did it is even more than the fact that you did it. He had delivered Daniel. One spectacular manifestation of the wonder working power of God can bring any family, can bring any individual. Are we together now? Can bring any organization. It does not matter the situation. Look, let me tell you, the Bible says the thing that was, the thing that is, is also the thing that was, and the thing that shall be. That there is nothing new under the sun. Everything we are facing, someone has gone through it before. If it's corporate debt, if it's an issue of sickness, someone might be sitting here right now with a medical report. And whilst all of these teachings are going on, you are happy and you are saying amen. But something in you is saying, prepare your house for you will die. Let me introduce you to Isaiah 38. That there is a way the lives of men can be prolonged and death can be reversed. This is true. My concern is that people are already beginning to incorporate into their Christian experience the fact that it looks like God is not mighty enough. It's a subtle proposal 
that is coming from the pain of people and the, the, the plethora of disappointments. I prayed over this, it wasn't answered. Well, I give thanks in the midst of it. I pray over this, it wasn't answered. Well, I give thanks. I pray over this, it is not answered. When you have so many unanswered prayers, it can do something to your conviction. He said, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able able to do to keep in the name of Jesus he will help us to reintroduce again to the nations of the earth the full counsel of God the God that still heals the God that still delivers the God that can still lift people overnight it's true that God does not rush people but God gives speed oh. he does oh God gives speed that by this time tomorrow you can look at your former self and wonder there is he does not just do this thing listen he does these things to show dominion over time he also does these things to bring glory to his name how else will an arrogant creation glorify our god if it happens at the sequence of men i have released my faith as a person and i've said lord every dimension of possibility that can find expression through me to give you glory i am available every without restraint whatsoever if you will take raising the dead i am available if you will take healing the sick i'm available now we respect every miracle but i'm telling you there are miracles that are still subject to debates and arguments and all kinds of things there are miracles that the bible calls notable miracles when the madman in Gadara was healed, the impact of his transformation, being in his right mind, was so powerful, he single-handedly brought a decapolis. Ten cities. Remember the woman at the well who had an encounter with Jesus. Notice that these people never came back alone. She, she was too grateful. There's no place where Jesus instructed her to go and bring people. This is what happens when people taste of the wonder working power of God. They become too grateful to keep quiet. Do you know what? They don't just tell them God is alive. They draw them to the place where the miracle happened. I believe God. Please stretch your faith shake off the doubt and the fear can god make a way in the wilderness I'm, I'm reintroducing faith to you gentlemen hear me you are not the first to seek establishment do not allow the territory bully you you come in a name there is a name that defies your background there is a name that defies limitations this is the god that we serve i believe him with all my heart and we are going to pray I sense tonight that someone will have to walk out of his you, you you will wave that yesterday goodbye you will wave those chains goodbye that you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life now listen you may sit back wondering like you've always done can God really make a way I assure you I know what will happen to you already we will share the grace and your situation will remain but for those who will be angry and say Lord I plunge into this we are tired of discussing issues we are tired of deliberations without result we declare that your wonder working power let it be introduced over this situation then you will see the mighty one arise it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous can enter it and they are safe the last one year has been about the most challenging in modern history as we know at least the last 50 60 years and so many people have lost money lost businesses sadly many have lost loved ones businesses have packed up even ministries have packed up and people are in a place now that is the exact environment that attracts the wonder working power of god no wonder the lord spoke to his choice servant to name this conference the god of wonders because you see um if you shine light in the day it may be ignored the bible says when you see darkness when you see darkness covering the earth and even gross darkness the people prepare is a signal 
that you should be ready because your light is about to shine as a result of it verse 3 Isaiah 60 says Gentiles will come you will no longer look for them Gentiles will come to your light and even their arrogant kings like the queen of Sheba that they will come to the brightness of your rising There is a dimension of God that we must pray that it is revealed in our lives. You're a man and a woman of God here. Respectfully, let me challenge you. We must trust God to hold superior dimensions of His powers in these days because people, this pandemic pushed people to do a lot of things people have resorted the rate at which people return back to idolatry return back to a lot of things and i'm not talking of idol worshippers i'm talking of sincere people who love god and that is the most human thing to do in the face of such a difficult situation as this so here is a chance again we have ah kali baruski avatar a chance once again to introduce the god of wonders to say hey it's creation the creator is still alive he is life himself but we must be able to demonstrate that reality i look forward to times when people become restless because there is no service they loiter around the house of god and say when will that door be open because we have discerned by experience that every time we found ourselves here the mountains it, it looked like there was an invisible hand I, I don't know what happened but while apostle goodhart was preaching to my shock suddenly someone was calling me on a sunday morning come for the job come for the job do they call employees on sunday morning but that's what happens god made it on sunday so that when you are threatened while as a staff there you will remember you will draw from the archives of how you got there listen don't waste your testimonies save them you will need to draw from them oh david when you kill the lion don't forget when you kill the bear don't forget because goliath is coming you will need to draw from the god of wonders and what he did yesterday for your deliverance the Bible frowns at people who forget. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not. It's a tendency in men. Mama, don't forget how the twins came. Don't forget that it was five years. They told you you had no fallopian tube. God said, Let the doctor finish because there's something I want to do. And when the children came, where they stayed is a mystery and a wonder. And the day your son tells you, will I ever make it? You say, come sit down, let me tell you a story. 30 years ago, I was told I would never have you. You see, this is why many of our mothers have faith. They may not speak in tongues, but there is an archive of the wonder-working power of God. So when they say the child will not rise, Mama will go back and say, I may not be educated, I may not be this and that, but there was a song I sang in 1975. I sang and I danced like a mad woman that brought me a miracle. Where is the God that did that yesterday? listen don't waste your testimonies while you celebrate them archive them i assure you the last battle you fought is not the last you will fight in this your life this our walk of faith is a fight god is already ministering to someone we're going to pray why is my soul downcast where is the god that gave you the ministry can he not sustain it have you forgotten his outstretched arm? Have you forgotten how he delivered you from an accident? What is a blood condition that the God of heaven cannot lift you in? Some of you were, were kidnapped, literally, and yet you are out. What in the world makes you think God will allow you to die hungry if his jealousy kept you with no support? The wonders of God an instrument of deliverance don't forget this one of the ways that he delivers us from evil is to stretch his hand 
motivated by his love and his jealousy and i see that god is going to arise because there, there are certain families that the story the narrative the devil is already creating if god does not show up they will write something and say god is not powerful and for his name's sake he's about to arise and say not so not so uh, you see any when you include god in any equation the calculation changes failure plus god is the answer he gives weakness plus god is the answer he gives who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the king of kings it's a question who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords I will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise Listen, let me tell you something I cried unto the Lord Apostles and I said, Lord, please do not send me with only a message. I don't even have an advantage based on my background. If all I have to give is just a lecture and a message, someone will be angry enough to kill me one day. Jesus was not only sent with a message. Uh -uh. From age 12, he already began to read. But the Bible tells us, hey, la supracata, that as he came out of the waters, it says the heavens were open and the Holy Ghost descended upon him in bodily form as in a dove. The Bible says then he was driven to the wilderness. And when he fasted 40 days and 40 nights, your Bible says he returned in the power, kebalus capracata, and his fame went around. It went about. Listen, make up it. There are people who the Lord wants to bring out of situations that only God, only God can take you out. Please take it high for me, guys. Someone sing for me Nathaniel Bassett's song. Oh Lord. Once again, may your people see you lifted in my life. Is someone praying? Bring your business before the Lord. Bring your family before the Lord. Bring the issue of concern before your Maker. Turn my life around in the name of Jesus. Make a statement through my life. Make a statement through my life. Please bring them out. I stretch my hands. Help that gentleman, please. Please, whether or not you are an usher, just let me have them out. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing it come on people's feet. It is it's a mighty deliverance that is coming on people. Please, quickly, just, just bring them out very quickly. You call it the God of wonders. That oppressions will stop. Now, I want to pray for... There are people here, you are standing here, but prophetically you are representing families. There are families that God wants to set free now. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God is coming upon you. Families, bring them. I stretch my hands by the God of heaven. Every family here represented inside, outside, following online. Every oppression that stops the praise of God.
from being heard from your family and your vicinity in the name of Jesus I declare let it be broken now 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 please bring them hallelujah who is David I'm hearing a name David you have a business so that we we, we may not I have to work with that time David I'm hearing a name David who is that David you are an elderly man you're not a young boy is there someone like that oh sir your name is David sir you're in business what do you do sir okay are you a, you are an architect or okay no but you have to do with structures structures this is what i'm seeing so i want to pray for you please don't be embarrassed i'm looking at you ah i'm seeing my house oh you've been to my house i'm seeing you in my house oh dear i'm, I'm sorry i hope you're not embarrassed sir i want to pray for you Someone will shout now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that person here. There is a strong anointing. So I want to pray for you. What is Agbo? Is this mic working? What is Agbo? Please help us. Apostle, sir, I apologize. I will... What is Agbo? Our boy is the town where the governor of Central Bank comes from. Sir? Our boy is the town where the governor of Central Bank comes from. Where the governor of Central Bank comes from. There is a miracle that is coming for you from that place. I'm saying it in the open. Pray. Listen, let me tell you this. I know that people have abused the prophetic. Let me, I have to say this disclaimer. People have misused it. But please don't you mix the sacrifice of other innocent people who have spent time praying the price. I think I need to say that because every time we see supernatural things, you see, madam, you are surprised and you are asking, my God, what is this? This man, your wife, you. I'm hearing what you are saying now, madam, this woman. Your, is this your wife? Yes. This woman. She's surprised and I'm hearing her prayer and say, God. I know that this man preaches but I've not seen that he's in a prophetic dimension like this and God is saying to speak to you to know that he's hearing you and I'm stretching hands on you because that same grace is coming on you now you will never be the same again can I tell you there are people who fear God sincerely and have paid the price by the Spirit we have not wasted the grace given to us I'm saying this with all due respect because sometimes you know we just downplay people and think everyone no no this is a ministry with integrity here are we together and so that when you are blessed tomorrow morning when you are coming as you are seeing this ministration God is telling you someone who you know would have been here this night now it's now up to you to show love to drag that person and say suspend this business you have been struggling around come and get something that will change your life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord sir in the name of Jesus can I pray for you sir I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus that anointing comes upon you that grace for favor right now oppression goes now in the name of Jesus it will never return to you again by the Spirit of the Living God there is someone here the Spirit I don't know if you are in ministry but I'm seeing a strong prophetic grace you are a woman female now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing that unction come on you please I want to bring that person out there is a, I, I, a real dimension of the prophetic this is a grace that has been following you for a long time and there is a dimension of that prophetic grace bring them out the wailing women God is Pastor Opi, thank God you are here there is a dimension there are wailing women that God is lifting in this place I'm speaking by the spirit of grace here at Roger here at Riha I see in the name of Jesus we release that grace the God of wonders is moving in the midst of his people turning situations around in the name of Jesus please touch that guy who is near the the AC my friend 
look at me the lord has answered your prayer mark the third week of of march the third week of march the lord is saying i should tell you the third week of march will be a strange month of lifting for you the third week of march hallelujah you were to go to canada i think october or november but something happened you could not go until now you have not gone who is that person oh dear oh wow we will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah i'm seeing a family here truth is you are a blessed family but there is a land issue there is a major i don't mean one a major land issue i don't know if it's that you're having it with um the the authorities who is that because if god does not step in for you i'm seeing them collect that land that property who is that person don't be ashamed where, where people you are wearing black you are wearing black like a black you're a lady this is is there someone like that oh dear my dear you believe in jesus let me speak like the apostles this is that look at me my dear shout jesus as loud as you can in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you i command favor favor that overturns favor that overturns receive that grace now both of you in the name of jesus christ may the good hand of god come upon you this is the woman i'm talking about come madam you a member of this church you came from please victor if you're busy let someone help us do the holding please where's she coming from i'm already member sir please don't come out at random make sure you are no i'm saying where you are in, in this city yes i live in abuja i live in abuja okay what's the issue because what i'm seeing hold on where is your husband i'm seeing you walk and in the spirit i see you walk alone and i'm seeing that that land is not even your own that land belongs to your husband whose land is it it belongs to my late husband and now they want to take that land away from you and truly if i don't pray for you it's even already finished they will even take it away but listen i'm saying it in the open here that if god be god this woman you see standing a miracle is going to happen this week that will surprise you you will return back to this hallowed altar and you will testify by the spirit of grace i stand in faith with apostle goodheart and we release grace upon you may the god of wonders visit you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ you do jewelries that's your business jewelries who is that person i'm seeing jewelries i want to pray for you we we'll have to close please i am i am challenging you this is more than just the conference of a church this is a visitation to this city please listen to me make up your mind that tomorrow morning tomorrow evening you see there's no need running around wasting time in a profitless labor when god can give you an encounter by investing a few hours of quality dedicated encounter are we together now please i i want you to make a covenant with god this night that you are going to draw somebody not just anybody you know people who really need the hand of god why do you go and people defraud you collect money to work out things when you can come and god can give you a visitation i don't say it with any attitude of sarcasm but i'm saying god is giving us an opportunity to be extensions extensions you are a businessman here you are from abia state who is that you are from abia state no 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 I, I don't mean you're interested in business you are actively you're a businessman you are from abia state you are a tall gentleman oh. it's like is it that he's a worker in this church or something like that this is what i'm seeing who is that what do you do media i have to pray for you you used to do well but something happened just went down completely it's an attack on you you see that um i'm not going to say everything here but you see mercy can speak let me just leave it at that you understand what i'm saying yes sir 
please come. What do you do? I don't know why God is visiting business people this night. What do you do, sir? Ah. I'm seeing there is God is connecting you with a company, a Korean company. Please look at me, sir. You will start doing supplies. I'm seeing you like a, a I don't know if it's a distributor of something of I technology items. Listen, you see the challenge with many business people is that when they come to church and God helps them, they now look at men of God as if we are out to collect money. No. You see that God puts us to not only prophesy but to back you up. So that whilst you are rising, you remember that you are being protected. The same grace that introduces you to dimensions has been mandated to defend you there. But there is this narrative people sell around that makes it look like men of... Maybe there may be people doing it, but just for you to know that there are people who fear God sincerely. You, you believe what I'm saying? Sir, listen to me. Except God is not God. By September, September, the dimension of wealth that is coming to you, your prayer now should be grace to be consistent with spiritual things while you rise. Because money can distract. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with Apostle Goodheart, and in the name of Jesus, we release grace on you. Supernatural grace on you. Ma, I want to pray for you. Are you based here? You're in ministry, ma? I'm seeing a walk in Canada. Oh. This is what I'm seeing. I, I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I'm sincerely sorry. I'm seeing a walk. There is a walk. That, no, no, no. I'm not saying she should answer. I'm just saying that there is a walk that I'm seeing. So the prayer you have been praying, God has answered it. It's the will of God. It's not, it's not, it's the will of God. There is a dimension of work. The surprising thing is that I'm praying for this woman. But the person who will fall under the anointing is in the crowd. Bring that person. Because the same thing God is doing in her, God is doing in that person. Just, just allow me to do my crazy things. Few minutes I'm off your stage. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, a lady, the hand of God will come on you. You see, the thing about the anointing is that once the anointing is living, your hunger can draw it to you, even though it was not an issue that related to you. Praise the Lord. Madam, I pray for you. The woman of God is laying hands on you. I release my faith also. And I declare that every hindrance gives way. In the name of Jesus. You are here with your medical report. Please come with it. This is, I just saw someone in a vision. You are here. You, you have your medical report. Let me just pray. We may not be able to take all the time to pray for the sick. But you are here. You, you brought it with you. Please, I want to just pray quickly for that person. So that we'll wrap up. We have to pray. One of, one of the end time weapons of evil destruction, Apostle Sir, is cancer. We have to pray and stamp that spirit that is just sweeping across families and the devil is using it to bring a lot of pain. Are we together now? Please, wait. someone here, you, you, you brought your medical... Who is that person? Please. God does not want us to end this service without a visitation for you. Who is that? I'm seeing a couple here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Where are you? you look, look, at what not, look at what is happening to her. Look at this. She's not even been prayed for. Look at this. This is the wonder working power of Jesus. Because that report is an evil report. This is a spirit. It's not sickness. It's an oppression. Please, where's that couple? Don't be embarrassed. You will return with the fruit of the womb. It's, it's, it's not a suggestion. You believe what I'm telling you. You see, before you believe a man, you go and find out. Please make sure you are married. Make sure you are married. Make sure you are married. We are Christians, please. Make sure you are married. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is someone praying? Pray in the spirit in one minute. No, no, don't kneel. Please. If couples trusting God, please come stand here quickly. Let's. 
if you are here husband and wife please still maintain social distance be sure that you will come and stand on this hallowed altar and let the world know that here at Riha I see this is the fruit of the manifestation of the God of wonders all these ones that I've prayed for in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that which you have come desiring I'm praying for those under the anointing in the name of Jesus you go back with several several deliverances several miracles you will stand on this altar and you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ you can return back to your seat if you can those of you standing here I want to pray for you I've seen the God of wonders Work miracles for me Those with gifts and talents Spoke prophetically the mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power. I command that spirit out of her now. In the name of Jesus, out. Out of her now. Every spirit that is responsible for barrenness of all sorts it must go now please be patient i want to pray for you hold on one of you here is standing for someone not yourself who is that come where is where's the family huh where they are oh your family is at home you are standing for someone your daughter. your daughter for marriage for fruit of the womb and her because I'm seeing what does she have on her throat I didn't know she cannot surgery yes you have, huh? surgery. you have been booked for surgery when April yes I'm seeing that there's supposed to be surgery you believe in the power of Jesus what's her name Zoe Zoe yes. what does that mean like come this is what i call a sign and a wonder you see signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations with messages attached to them why will god pick out a zoe as a demonstration of the life of god how old is she huh three years you believe in the power of god you are you are, you are a member of this church Where are you from? I have to pray. Ah! Please don't feel embarrassed. There are at least four or five times I've seen this thing whenever I am preaching. Aleku. Do you know anything about that thing? What is it? Like something that they say my, my cousin died two weeks ago. Your cousin died two weeks ago and they said that's what killed him it was like typhoid but it was like he was eating his stomach till he died i have to pray for you because i'm seeing that same thing coming on you thank god for a conference like this my brother we are not prophets of doom if god identifies your situation the reality of redemption speaks over you immediately do you understand we are people of signs and wonders but we are people of doctrine too shout jesus as loud as you can out of him now wherefore the bible says god had so highly exalted him and given him a name the bible declares and that that name is above every other name sir in the name of jesus we pray for zoe zoe we speak over your life may your name answer for the bible says whatever adam called it that was the name thereof I release my faith with Apostle Goodheart in the name of Jesus and we declare Zoe be healed now. We bring you the life and the power of this kingdom we so boast about. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus name.
my media man in the name of jesus christ you see the prophetic has always been the tool of restoration the bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore i stand releasing my faith to the man of god and we declare according to the word of the lord he said master we have toiled all night but i speak to you from tonight in the presence of everyone we give life to your media outfit in the name of jesus we give it visibility in the name of jesus i prophesied job 42 and verse 10 the grace that brought back the fortunes of job because this is what happened to you i decree and declare let it come to you right now sir you are standing here for fruit of the womb but the lord what do you do huh you church office i want to pray for you i just saw a book open over your head and the lord is saying the book of remembrance is open over you the lord is saying for your faithfulness this is what i'm hearing you have been a faithful man i don't know him from anywhere but in the name of jesus the servant of god is laying hands on you and i'm releasing my faith with you leave the issue of child first god wants to re to reward you to make a spectacle with your life i stretch my hands in the name of jesus and i decree and declare by the god of all grace that from tonight releasing my faith with apostle goodheart number one may your life change in a way that will marvel and surprise you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ now for all of you standing here in the name of Jesus I agree with you that every plague of darkness according to the time of life listen this thing is a grace it's not something if it's there is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that I stretch my hands and I prophesy according to the time of life in the name that is above all names return with your children return with your children I speak to you prophetically remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for in this season the Lord is doing a new thing in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is doing a new thing the Lord is doing a new thing sir I don't know who this man is but I am seeing you running on a horse the Lord is shifting you the, the same thing I saw on this man I'm seeing on you to a book is open over you and are you a member of this church sir you see what God is doing I'm, I'm there is there is something God is doing it's like God is is moving to specific people to also show the faithfulness of service the same thing I saw on this man I'm seeing on you can I pray for you sir I stretch my hands upon you in the name of Jesus may grace come on you the grace that makes for speed in the name of Jesus Christ you will run like Elijah you will overtake the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel in the name of Jesus for all of you who are here I decree and declare by the spirit of grace return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus return with your miracle children madam please lift your hands where you are this woman wearing I don't know what color that is is that blue that's lift your hands you are saying Lord please let this service not be over without them calling me I stretch my hands the Lord hears ah, please come please come come look at me you're pregnant I have to pray for you ah. in the name of Jesus Christ they will not tell you there is something in your stomach they will not tell you that you have something that is growing in your stomach I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it by the please don't be afraid this is God visiting you in the name of Jesus I don't care what it is I stand by the grace of God and I declare that it flushes out of your body right now number two the Lord is restoring your dreams you used to have dreams you will see things before they happen but something happened and everything just left in the name of Jesus I declare by the Spirit of God it is over right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have to wrap up tonight lift up your hands please make sure that tomorrow you come hungry and you come inviting someone and make sure that you come in the evening again with your heart open don't be selfish don't come alone there are spaces i know that we're observing COVID. 
but there's an overflow that has been made outside pay that price and allow god visit you i stand again releasing my faith with god's servant and his dear wife apostle goodheart and we speak over everyone whose hand is lifted in the name of jesus tonight even before tomorrow morning experience the deliverance of the god of wonders in the name of jesus long-standing issues by the spirit of god be resolved tonight many of you will receive strange calls miracle calls in the name of jesus supernatural ideas manifestations of the spirit renewals of an and an reignition of fire and passion for spiritual things in the name of jesus christ i bless you with the blessings of heaven and i pray that your life will not cease to be a compendium of testimonies be blessed and remain blessed in jesus name i pray god bless you the lord for just a few moments let's honor the lord let's honor the lord we're about to close just lift those hands wherever you are just lift those hands thing for sure is that our lives will never be the same praise the name of the Lord there is something about the last night of every event seems like the expectation of people can reach to the heavens and receive and receive and receive I came here with my heart full because I know that God will do wonders in this place tonight I know that many of us have come and many of you truly responded to the invitation in the morning and several have come some of you in ministry some of you in business some in politics and governance let me tell you something you're before the God of heaven I guarantee you he will surprise you beyond your imagination yes. hallelujah praise the Lord and like Apostle Goodhart shared and prophetically just blew the shofar. I truly believe that it's not, it's not a new season just for Rogic, but for those connected to this grace also. Because when he anoints Aaron, he also anoints his sons. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In one minute, just cry your expectation before your maker. Please don't be distracted. This is not the night to be casual. Be sensitive. Pray. Shila pratos kede mena haskalia barus. Sile kete brande kete bala haskata bala dos. Father, my heart is open. Pray. Skile dem bredi kete poshi atamara mara. Ski parunda ski di bariyatana. Ah. Fill my life till all they see is you alone. Glorify your name. Fill my life till all they see. Lift your hands and worship Him. Fill my life, say
the things that I believe God will do tonight um, like Apostle Good has said listen to me please and I don't mean to be arrogant but you see impartation is real graces are transferable graces represent the platform for possibilities in this kingdom and it is never God's intention that single individuals remain with certain possibilities without the body experiencing it are we together now yes that it is possible that a man can come and have an encounter with a grace a dimension you did not come with and you see the thing about graces is that they speak immediately if it is not on you it is not on you as simple as that and so I'm praying that tonight will sustain the meekness and the discernment to recognize that this is more than a man this is more than logic this is a platform to really pour into someone for someone you came here you've been praying and fasting probably a pastor saying Lord give me the visitation that will take me to the next level for someone you're in politics and governance and you came by invitation let me give a kind counsel do not stand wondering if God will bless you do not stand wondering if God will lift you if God will heal you there are people here sick really sick trusting God for miracles and you know sometimes we can get used to pain we can get used to limitations then we become like the Israelites in the wilderness can God make a way this God we're talking about is a mighty God this God we're talking about was not voted into power there is no parliament that sustains the intelligence to vet and judge him we're talking about the monarch of the universe are we together just one prayer and then we'll be seated father my faith i reach out to you tonight that every grace every possibility that should be delivered to my life and my destiny i obtain by faith make it a cry in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Please be seated. Apostle Goodhart, sir, thank you. It's always my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight I want to share a very simple but a deep spiritual secret and then we'll pray. In every generation it seems as though God would usually find a handful of people and invest such dimension of his power his grace my God there are there are mighty angels in this place there is such an activity of the Spirit such an activity of the spirit I'm going to teach but please just be sensitive don't just listen discern the Bible says while Peter yet speak these words it says the Holy Ghost fell fell on all day that heard him I believe that there are all kinds of impartations that will be happening whilst the word is coming some of them not even related to what I'm saying your hunger is just drawing from the throne dimensions of graces that must be captured in your experience hallelujah and so it seems as though even though we have people who call upon the name of the Lord is as though he selects a few people and anoints them in unusual dimensions unusual dimensions and being a student of scripture and a student of history I began to find out 
what what exactly is responsible for this uncommon investment of the spirit upon certain individuals i wanted to know because i was interested in not only being used by god but being used to a degree that will be able to bring glory to the name of the lord and i found out that i met well-meaning people i met sincere people i met theologians i met bible scholars i met zealous people i met fasting giants prayer warriors but more, it, it seemed as though there was something god was looking for in man that most men do not have or do not live up to and so the body of christ respectfully speaking we've come up with several propositions as to what exactly god is looking for to invest his hand his grace his power upon an individual upon a family upon a ministry upon a territory i prayed and i cried and i said lord show these things because you desire them to be revealed to the body and through the ministry of the holy spirit through the privilege of uncommon mentorship and the election of grace i want to show you something tonight and i pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that your eyes will be open to see and that when you find these truths and walk in it that your life will suddenly become a sign and a wonder not just that you receive not just that you pray for it i give you a guarantee as touching the name of the lord if you understand what i share with you in this church regardless i don't care what the situation is your life will become an unending and episodes upon episodes of wonders this is true you are not being taught cunningly devised fables this is a an altar that is most hallowed the truths that i teach you are not opinions it will be evil to gather an intelligent people like this and just communicate opinions these are truths that are backed up by the integrity of scripture it is true because you see we shouldn't finish such a powerful conference like this and then have us rejoice and celebrate and that may be a few miracles and go back again as though you never met him you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence that I used to be a pastor struggling to preach struggling to teach praying for people they are not healed they are not blessed then I come for Reha IC 2021 and then I return back on Sunday and the same thing happens oh no no this is not the God of the Bible even when evil spirits met him they didn't go back the same are we together it is impossible to meet the God of the Bible Moses saw a bush that was burning and would not be consumed he said I will turn aside to see this great sight and when God saw that he turned aside to see say Moses take off your shoes for where thou standest is holy ground Moses had an encounter with him and he sent him back to Pharaoh not as the timid Moses who ran away from Egypt hallelujah why does god do wonders i think it's important i just state that quickly why is god interested in showing up in spectacular ways in the lives of individuals in the lives of people businesses you know people in government and all of that what is it about the supernatural what what does he seek what message does he seek to trans transmit when god heals the sick when god raises the dead when god moves in unusual dimensions what is he saying because we must sustain the intelligence to discern 
what wonders are for number one every time God moves this is what he's saying I love you the revelation of the love of God is powerful and the character of love is that there must be a demonstration to attest to the fact that that love is genuine John 3 and verse 16 the Bible says for God so loved the world he didn't stop there he gave his one and only then now the first of we the begotten are we together now the Bible says he gave his one and only begotten son to the end that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have this life that we call the way the life of God is beyond everlasting it's not just everlasting it's not just eternal it's a quality of life God is love so every time he shows up listen discern miracles discern signs and wonders when you discern it you will look beyond the vessel that was used there is a message every time God lifts every time God heals every time God blesses every time God opens doors every time God delivers there is a definite message from the father through his son to creation I love you the Bible says write this down The love of God I'm trying to pull up a scripture 1 John chapter 4 That's it 1 John chapter 4 and verse 8 1 John chapter 4 and verse 8 It says He that loveth not Knoweth not God For God is love this is a revelation i do not want you to forget for god is love and the character of love is that it sustains the ability to cast out fear perfect love the bible says casts out fear so because god is love i expect that he will give i expect that he will heal i expect that he would deliver listen the awareness of the love of god can drive doubts and fears away can god bless me is he interested in my rising or is he a selfish monarch who seeks to use me for his glory you see that idea of being used for his glory is true but it's incomplete there is always something in it for you you see the character of love is that it, there has to be a mutual benefit so whilst it is true that we do not serve him for things whilst it is true that we do not seek him for mundane things there is something in the economy of god that insists that you must know what is in that equation for you god did not keep silent as to what we stand to benefit and enjoy when we seek him he is very vocal not just about his love but the rewards that follow our loving him our trust in him hallelujah in leadership you and and this is a ministry that is so great so enlightened you have the privilege of having a visionary father and a leader in leadership one of the principles of leadership is that you you advocate and sell your vision by revealing to the people who follow you something in that vision that also resonates with their desires they must be able to find a place in your vision that was the mistake of joseph joseph came with a dream and there was nothing in that dream that was a blessing to his brothers he came and said well guys i slept and this is what i saw the sun moon and 11 stars bowing and the brother said we will kill you now you compare that with nimrod kush in genesis 11 goto he said come let us let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens and he mobilized a vast army that even the devil could not resist it took god himself are we together so i'm saying that the character of love is that there is mutual benefit 
so when God comes and shows up in mighty ways to save to heal and to deliver is more than the miracle there is a message I'm saying this because in a few minutes we are going to be celebrating the spectacular hand of God once again there will be a convocation of his hand and his presence in this place and whilst you celebrate and whilst you rejoice whilst you cry and praise him remember there is a message the message is love a revelation of the love of God he said I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you God is not ashamed to declare his vulnerability in spite of the worship in heaven in spite of the glories of heaven he gets distracted by this object this 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 entity called man I can imagine him sitting on his throne and the four and twenty elders and all the worship happening in heaven. All of a sudden he's no longer giving them his attention. And heaven is wondering where is he? No wonder the psalmist said, what is man? What is this man? Can't you, can't you end this race of humanoid species and then build another one? What is a man? Read the Bible and see the love of God man would violate his ordinances and be given to their enemies and even in their depravity they would not call for help and his love his vulnerability would not allow him let man go through that thing he will raise a prophet to say okay man we can talk you come i will come i mean what a what what a vulnerable display of love listen it's a revelation that changed my life we live in a very evil time to find people who love you sincerely is hard so when you have a revelation that the monarch of the universe is in love with me wow i'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of god when god loves you he does not give you things he gives you his heart that is the gift you get from a lover not things whoever loves you and just gives you things is cheating you true love is culminated when you get the heart because whoever owns that heart whoever has access to that heart has all things so tonight the first message why wonders the reply i love you i am desperate and vulnerable enough to come even though heaven is my throne but i will show up for as many times as you gather to let you know that i love you very powerful revelation the love of god John chapter 10 and verse 10 it says the thief cometh not but for to steal it says to kill and to destroy he said I am come that ye may have life as proof of my love and not just to have life but to have it more abundantly tonight anything that does not look like more abundance you have a responsibility to fight it until your life looks like the garden of Eden a, a reflection of the beauty and the splendor are we together yeah. he does wonders to reveal his love number two he does wonders to reveal his might and his power to men and to creation there's a weakness in men the weakness is that we forget this is not memory loss it's just that men forget so every once in a while god will step into the affairs of men and do something spectacular he will do something and write on it signed like you know how julius berger will build you can always know well if you have a construction company plus your own too you know <laughs> i'm not just talking about julius berger alone but just for an example you can know the blocks made from julius berger because they will throw it up it won't break and then there is a little signature B don't be confused 
they made this so there is something god does in your life and then he signs a signature that the doer is god so there is no confusion because human beings have this this intelligent way of stealing through efforts that did not come from them and receiving glory for it and so god writes this breakthrough sign yahweh this is my signature this lifting signed Yahweh these open doors the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 now unto him who is able able not just willing there are men who are willing brothers and sisters look at me our world is full of people who are willing willing to help willing to bless they would tell you if I have the resources I would I won't spare to lift you thank god that our god does not just have the will he has the power el shaddai the multi-breasted one and so he shows up to remind men that he is almighty almighty the bible says in psalm 24 and verse 1 the earth is the lord's and its fullness thereof the resources number three the walls the systems and number four they that dwell therein four things the earth the resources the systems and the inhabitants they all belong to him this is the god of the universe the earth is the lord's no contention the earth is the lord's the bible says he upholds all things by the word of his power this is a god who will lift you this is the god who will heal you this is the god who will bring you listen so when you know this you you are you are given the allowance to vet him god is not afraid to allow men vet him check my antecedents he parted the red sea Hebrews 11 archives these men who were used by God to work wonders. It says, Time will fail me to talk of Gideon, Jephthah, Barak, men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, shut the mouth of lions. It says, Men whom the earth was not worthy of. God is almighty. God is almighty. God is almighty. He does not sit on his throne scratching his head wondering what to make out of our situations. No. He's called the ancient of days. I believe him. This is the God I serve. So when I stand before a mountain, it may be older than me, but there is one older than it. When I stand before a situation, it may look bigger than me in the flesh, but there is one bigger than it. Oh, this is what David knew. He stood before Goliath and Goliath said, what disrespect. Israel, is this what you will do to me? Am I a dog that you bring a little boy, a teenager with a sling? David said, you come to me with your bows, your spears, but I come to you in a name. Haris Kalibra Katosiata. I come to you in the name. The might of God. It's a revelation I want you to hold for the rest of your life. Because situations and circumstances have a way of bullying men. They bring you to a point where you are perplexed. You are wondering, can anything good come out of my life? The almighty God. Savior. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to say. He is mighty to say forever. The offer of salvation. Sing it one more time. Savior, Savior. He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to forever. The offer of salvation. The mighty God is called. 
Once upon a time, an arrogant king commanded that a gold statue 90 feet tall be built. And at the sound of the instruments of music, that everyone in the entire Babylon would bow to him. And some young boys came and said, Oh king, we love you, we respect you, we are taught to honor. But as touching the matter of might and superiority, we are sorry to tell you we will not bow. They were thrown into a furnace of fire. All of a sudden they saw four men. The likeness of the fourth, the Bible says, was like the Son of Man. And then the Son of God. And it says these were men who the fire had no power over. Hmm. The mighty God. There's something about the might of God that needs to be reintroduced to us and be reintroduced to this generation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. My Jesus conquered the grave. Sing it over every situation in your life. He rose and conquered the grave. Over your finances. He rose and conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, He can move the mouth. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh cancer, oh fibroid, oh blood condition. Do you not know that for every creature there is a creator? The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He was not in that heavens, he was not in that earth. Where was he? When Job, at the height of his predicament, Job 38, the Bible says he summoned God. And God came in a whirlwind and said, Who is this man that darkened counsel without knowledge? Gird up thy loins as a, a man, and I will demand of thee. Question 1. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? This is the God that we serve. Declare if you have understanding. You know, sometimes when the pride of the kings of the earth reach a particular threshold, God, whether invited or not, He will stand up and shake Himself and remind them again that there is a king. Ah. He rose and conquered the grave. Ah! This, this revelation is doing something to me. He rose and conquered the grave. That's why you will be healed tonight. He rose and conquered the grave. So when a man tells you, over my dead body for you to rise, tell him be careful. That's a dangerous statement because you are about to die. You just numbered your days. He rose and conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. We're talking of the mighty God here. Once upon a time, an arrogant woman embarrassed her husband who is called King Ahasuerus. A king over 127 provinces being banished from the palace there was a vacancy and they began to call on all the young women and a young village girl called Hadassah from Shushan Mordecai her uncle said why don't you go and try paradventure with God the Bible says she came and joined all the city girls and was kept under the custody of Haggai the keeper of the king's concubines 
and Haggai gave her a suggestion he said I know this king I know what he's looking for I've worked with him a long time focus on this oil keep rubbing it on your body for one year allow the other women to do what they, whatever they have to do the Bible says Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part it says and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her what a grace then you go to verse 17 the Bible says when the king loved Esther above all the women she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins as a result he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti when God tells you I will lift you I want you to know that this is how God works he does not speak until he verifies that he has the ability to make it come to pass so if God ever makes a declaration he's vetted himself and found out that it is within his capacity to make that word come to pass let me tell you a few things he said about you that if you shall diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that he commands you this day there is a promise that he will exalt you above the nations of the earth and that these blessings will come upon you and overtake you is it in your Bible number two that your path should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day do you believe that number three that when men say there is a casting down that's already an information that you are not a normal man because he didn't he said when men something about his presence in your life has translated you from a man to something else this is what i believe a display of his might in and through my life because if it is the Lord's doing it must be marvelous it must be marvelous ah. you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. marvelous yeah. sing it up one more time says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream let me prophesy to someone I stand tonight in the name of Jesus and by this grace and I declare to you what God will do in your life from tonight it will be like a dream I speak it over your life I speak it over your family I speak it over your business in the name of Jesus please sit down I believe in the might of God I believe in the power of God there are things that only God can do that God will so invest his grace upon your life and things will begin to come to you there is such a grace that was the grace that came upon Noah and his ark he didn't go to look for the animals there was something on him that made them come two by two seven by seven let me release that grace on your business on your ministry the grace that compels men to come from everywhere to acknowledge the workings of God in your life I stand by the God of heaven and I declare from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace from from tonight take that grace take that grace do wonders with that grace in the name of Jesus Christ please sit down the might of God we had the opportunity to visit very briefly after the morning service the facility that God is building for himself for this ministry and it was a wonder to behold there are things when you see you know this is God there are things when you see you know this is intellect there are things when you see you know this is just the wisdom that comes with time but there are things when you see you know that this is God the might of God number three why wonders why does God do wonders? I will tell you 
because signs and wonders signs and wonders according to John chapter 4 and verse 48 miracles signs and wonders provoke men to believe not only that there is a God but to receive of this gift of salvation without the ministry of signs and wonders the global harvest will not be a reality we live in a world where people seek for signs they want to see the outstretched arm of God God does wonders so that there can be the end time harvest especially at this time it is his desire that all men be saved and everything he will have to do was it not the miracle listen was it not the miracle of the fish that made peter to say i am a sinner john 21 remember little children have you any catch said no he said cast your net to the right side and when they caught fish so much they had to beckon on their partners to help them and discerning it was jesus he came and he said depart from me there is something about the spectacular manifestation of the power and the grace of god that is able to bring men to their knees they know that truly there is a savior i thought all that rules the world is intellect i thought all that rules the world are principles but now i am forced to acknowledge that there is a god in heaven can i tell you this god is still in the business of winning souls God is still in the business of seeing to it that the nations come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. As it rises on us, ask and thou give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. I believe that we are stepping into seasons in the church age where nations will be saved in a day because of the dramatic demonstration of the power and the grace of God. Is it not written in your Bible that a nation can be born in one day? That it is possible to win more souls than all the crusades in a year in one moment. Charles, I think it was late Charles and Francis Hunter who said that one spectacular miracle is worth a thousand words you can talk to people and convince them jesus heals jesus saves jesus delivers and they look at you as an intelligent lecturer clap for you where necessary but when the power of god when jesus came to announce his messianic prophecy in luke chapter 4 he it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah the prophet and he began to read from from verse 15 downwards he said the spirit of the lord is upon me he said for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to set at liberty them that are bound to declare the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed that book and said this day is this scripture fulfilled he would have gone to sit down no that's not the God of the Bible woman with your withered hand he said stretch it forth when Jesus showed up he turned that city upside down miracles upon miracles miracles upon miracles now there are people who downplay the miraculous simply because it's been exaggerated and exalted above the word the miraculous must never be exalted above doctrine and above the word however to push it aside is a joke now if i by the finger of god that have done this is an announcing that the kingdom has come to you i believe in miracles 
I see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Right now Many years ago Apostle sir The Lord performed I think that would be The first spectacular Manifestation of the hand of God That I saw in my life And I would say through the ministry There was a gentleman who had His his spine now i'm not a doctor and they labeled the spine and this this gentleman had damaged the spine they were waiting to ship in some doctors from india to come and perform a very delicate surgery there at the teaching hospital in zaria and then i had an opportunity to talk with this gentleman in the night by call then phones just people just started having access to phones and then i called him and i told him i said do you believe now looking back honestly i don't know if i believed it will happen or not sometimes it's good to not know what you are praying about just pray quietly because you if you are aware of the gravity of what you are praying about it may dampen your faith i prayed over that gentleman and I stand before God, I lie not, he may be somewhere in the world following this teaching today. When I spoke over him, I had a loud shout. He had um, this brace, uh, they call it something that they hook, they just hold the neck so it doesn't move. And then this guy, he found a way of losing it and began to shout with the phone on. He ran to the mother's room. And the last thing I heard before the phone was off was Jesus. And that was it. You know how people come to greet when someone is bereaved? That's what happened in their house the next day. People came and said, what in the world is going on? Who did this? They said, one gentleman like that. Who is he? When I saw the x-ray myself, and I saw the gentleman who had been healed, I said, only a fool will say in his heart, there is no God. Listen, we need a display of signs and wonders. Please hear me with all due respect. If you are in ministry here, contend for the grace. This is a time when if you do not genuinely walk in signs and wonders, be ready for empty pews. People will not come for nothing. There is a hunger that is driving men to experience the God of the Bible in a way that is more than theory. Hallelujah. Do you know that's not even the story when this guy was healed all of a sudden i think over it would be over the next one month i got calls almost every day from doctors in the hospital apostle sincerely i'm struggling with something i learned a lesson people have problems but they must vet your ability to help them before they open up i was amazed and how many people just laugh whereas there are myriads of problems and i made up my mind that i did not want a powerless ministry god do not send me with only a sermon no he says i am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power not just the message the power the power i said lord as you send me from nation to nation grant me grace to follow the path of our fathers men and women who kept nations at a standstill one time i watched the the crusade of tl osborne and i was in tears spectacular manifestations of the power of god to the point that the, the government would come together i know there was a nation that despised him and before he went to be with the lord they came together as a nation and invited him to apologize publicly We need to return the reality of the power and the grace of God. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can.
search through all eternity, Lord, and find there is none. There are many of us who have loved ones who have refused to give their lives to Jesus. You love them, they love you back, but they will not get born again. Do you know why? There is something about your Christian experience that has failed to capture superior dimensions of the power, the grace, and the glory of God. Do you know what made the jailer? Remember, Paul and Silas, when the jailer saw that spectacular manifestation, he was about to kill himself and he said, no, 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 we are fine. And that was the harvest, the church. The, the betting of the church was a miracle. It was a sign and a wonder. The Bible says, now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, it says they were gathered together in one accord. Suddenly there was a sound. Always starts with that sound. As of a mighty rushing wind. Then they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire. It came and sat upon them. Are we together? In one day, 3,000 people were saved. It's my desire that the global harvest that is delaying the coming of Christ. Oh yes, he will not come until this gospel of the kingdom is preached as a witness to all creation. Then the end will come. The end does not depend on him. It depends on our mission. That is scripture. So we can look forward to and hasten the day of his coming to the degree to which we see the nation saved. I pray that by this talk, before we begin to pray, that God will use this opportunity to plant a burden, a burden for the nations, a burden for the nations. We're not going, do you know the way our world now, you can't even stop someone to preach because they can say you are a terrorist or something and arrest you and you will go to court. That means there has to be an alternative system one-on-one -on -one evangelism right now the times that we live in is making it almost not possible you stand you're talking to someone and he says what are you telling my daughter you stand you're talking to someone you say ah no 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 last week that was how someone came in the name of jesus and robbed us go away so people will not listen here's the great commission he says go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every to all creation he told you the assignment go he told you what to do, preach. He told you who to preach to, men and creation. But he never told you how. There has to be a display, and, and a display of signs, wonders. There's gonna be a great awakening. It's a prophecy. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved When ten dead people come back to life in one week And while that is happening 50 jobless people in one week receive supernatural jobs jobs that glorify jesus while that is happening you have 19 sets of triplets coming back to back these are the kinds of don't, don't release your faith for i'm talking of superior things now let me see who will come and stand and watch that plethora of the manifestation of the power of god and say it was stage managed no they are called notable miracles are we together while that is happening you go to bed wondering where will my rent come from and you wake up with a text message come and meet me somewhere in abuja and the person will say the lord said for the sake of the kingdom let me give this to you and he said please if it's a scam if you are joking if it's april fool just tell me he said no 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 i was led lord prayed we have spoken we have written books. It's time to demonstrate the reality of the power, the grace of God. Like many of you have received on this platform. You will never forget Reha I see. Do you know why? You may forget what I'm teaching now, but you can't forget what God did for you. Encounters. 
come see a man that told me everything I have done. This is why God is revealing himself as the God of wonders. But very quickly, having established the reason why miracles and wonders happen, there is a key. One key that I want to share that I believe has limited the absence of it in the life of a believer, the absence of it in the life of a church, the absence of it in the life of a family, a business, will limit the manifestation of the power of God. Please open your heart and open your spirit. More than your fasting, more than prayer, more than Bible study, more than communion, I want to give you a key that when you hold this key, you have held the heart of God. And He will show up again and again as though He owes you His presence. It is true. I know this. The key I have found that controls the outstretched arm of God over the life of a believer is the purity of your motive. The purity of your motive. Believers, please listen. People are falling from different nations. There are pastors, there are leaders. Listen to me. More than fasting, as important as that is, more than prayer, more than organization, more than sincere hearts, the principal determinant, the principal determinant, is the sincerity and the purity of your motive Jeremiah John 17 and verse 1 for time's sake I may not go to Jeremiah John 17 and verse 1 Jesus is praying now he lifted up his head and the Bible says he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son why that thy son may glorify thee increase my ministry why there is a question you must answer in the realm of the spirit to command the hand of God the question is why Lord, I need an impartation of grace. It is available, but why? Lord, I need to have the kind of visibility that will cause the nations of the earth to see that is available. Why? This question why seeks to probe the motif. There are so many believers who have the stamina to stretch through spiritual activities but they find out that regardless the fact that they are engaging in correct spiritual activities working in keeping with the principles that scripture said should deliver certain results they still do not find that result i tell you the missing key something about the corruption of our hearts something about the insincerity of our motives it doesn't mean we are bad it just means we are men there is a weakness in men. The tendency to want to be praised. The tendency to outshine. The tendency to make a name. Men historically have been obsessed with power. Obsessed with control. Obsessed with a, a show of superiority. And some of us come from backgrounds. Listen carefully. Some of us come from backgrounds, especially, sadly speaking and respectfully so, as a continent. You see, when you come from a background of deprivation, it can affect you because there is a lust, an appetite to prove a point. And that becomes a hindrance to genuine power and genuine grace. So someone told you you would never be anything. And now there is that itch. Lord, grant me an anointing that will make everyone call me Joshua Selman. And so you, you, you like it so that they will know. 
it's amazing what motivates us i want to become a senator why so that people will know the politician who said i cannot become it that's too small a reason let me tell you this until kingdom come is found in your desire god is not interested write this down until kingdom come is found in your desire no matter what you ask for god is able to give provided there is kingdom come my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised truly that you be praised it's my one desire that you be praised that you be praised i think it was freka umar that sang if it's not in your presence if it's not by your word if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything i need is in you if it's not in your presence if it's not by your word this is my version now if it's not for your glory don't let me have it for everything i need is in you listen some of the people who have been greatly used by god in across the nations they never had a desire for fame they never had a desire for ministry when i started ministry i never knew i wouldn't have believed that a man could preach and they would count maybe money or a gift and say thank you it was strange for me that you would preach and someone would bring a basket of fruits and say thank you wow my desire was is and will always be to see jesus revealed to see jesus glorified to see jesus revealed to see jesus glorified if in the course of doing that he chooses by his greatness and his majesty to grant me an opportunity to experience what it means to be blessed to be lifted to be honored i receive with thanksgiving with but then my eyes remains focused i tell you sincerely i stand before god and i am sorry if i sound arrogant it has never been my desire for fame for some of these things no never I came from a very conservative background so it, it that that desire is not even something that territorially it's not something that that I'm accustomed to let me tell you there are many pastors there are many leaders there are many business people when the spirit of grace comes over your life he finds activities that are correct but a motif that is corrupted there is lost hidden let me just manifest and no man of god will be able to talk to me again let me just manifest and i will look at apostle gutard and say are you not preaching i'm preaching too are you not healing i'm healing too and and god says no 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 no. i love you too much to lift you i have vetted you and i found out that the safest position for you is where you are not every delay is demonic there are things that are done by god as an act of his mercy Father, what is it about a land that you cannot give me? There is nothing you cannot do. You are correct. What is it about a door that you cannot open? What is it about a miracle that you cannot give me? 
but every time the spirit of grace comes it says that this family is filled with a desire and you see the thing about lust is it can hide for a long time don't be mistaken that just because it has not manifested yet it doesn't mean it is not there hiding for when an opportunity is provided there are people today that from the day they heal the sick they don't listen to anybody again even in church from the day they lead a prayer the pastor cannot talk to them again how are you sir what do you mean by that the same lord is rich unto all they say nah. the lord told me something many years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you We live in times when we desire the celebrity lifestyle to be the center of attraction. <laughs> I'm sure there are some of you one while you see the men and women of God and people who are deserving of honor filing in something in you, there's an itch. I want to be there. I want to be at the center stage. At the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. At the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. You see, whatever motivates you to seek God is what will sustain you while you see him if your motivation is fame the day you get it the impetus to remain a student in the school of the spirit will no longer be there because the motivation was not him the motivation was it cars fame houses these things are not wrong in themselves career breakthrough liftings you are about to experience the hand of god but i must be sincere with you as we conclude this conference can you look past those things can you push them like jacob pushed his wives his cattle and when he was alone then a man came the condition to meet him is that nothing else must stand his way you are the reason i leave you're the one for me you're the one for me he's the reason i leave you're the one for me church is quiet <laughs> Yes, sir. Whilst you are looking at me, some of you following online, the Spirit of God is speaking to you. This is it. This is why the breakthrough has been pending. Oh, Hannah, could this be why the child is not yet here? Because the desire is to prove to Penina you are also a woman. Until the day you align your desire to kingdom come, Samuel is not on his way coming soon. Hour has come glorify now thy son only to the end am I wasting your time let me tell you this it's a secret you ask anyone who is sincere who is being used by God mightily whether in ministry in business in career do you know I have looked at people sincerely and I have seen that there are people they as far as compliance to principles that make for success for greatness i have looked at their lives sincerely and i have seen gaps it's not like they've kept those principles 100 percent you look at their lives and you know no 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 based on the ethics of business this man should not be in this position but somewhere his desire filled in the gap his hunger for god he said well i don't have the the business connection i don't have everything but i have a sincere desire believe lifted high believe 
lifted high. Oh Lord, be lifted high. For you are holy. Oh Lord, be lifted high. Now, I've had the honor and the rare privilege of having a few personal times with God's servant your father alongside his dear wife and I can tell you that all I have seen in their heart is a genuine desire for Jesus I am amazed at the hunger I'm saying it in the open and I'm saying it sincerely the goodness of their hearts the purity of their desire to see Christ revealed to see lives blessed you must love people more than your reputation you must love his purposes more than the benefits that come to you this I have seen in the life of this humble servant of God and the wife could this be why business is hard could this be why the destiny helpers are yet to show up man of god i know you are a prophet you should be prophesying to nations based on the grace god has put upon your life could it be that it was the hand of god stopping your rising he does not stop it out of hate he stops it out of love i cry to the lord every day before i would come here i got down on my knees and i said my savior and my king your majesty i call him now i have the opportunity to come and bless your people again let it please you to flow through me and do mighty things make a name for yourself let jesus be glorified take the stage lord have your way i'm just a vessel Truly nothing more. This is not condemnation, it's revelation. When you're done, would you please take the glory? I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Call me Nanakane. Come in a nakane, come in a nakane, Yesu, come in a come in a nakane, Yesu, I'm going to make an altar call, but we'll pray. There is a very serious altar call I want to make now. Inside, outside, those following. It's got to be more than this. It's got to be more, got to be more. It's got to be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things And we press in Him It's gotta be more, gotta be more It's gotta be more than this You are here And whilst Whilst you are seated there Inside, outside Or from whatever nation You are saying Apostle It's time for me to win this war this war of pride this war of self it's time to really make jesus lord of my life i'm tired of being a church goer i'm tired of being around the things of god or you are here you're saying i need to be serious with god i'm going to count one to five please ushers allow them I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. 
those who are coming from outside if it's possible please give them room i'd like you to run and come and stand here right now one we are desperate people please stand because of space cry before your lord why do you come here we are desperate people we want more more lord. two are you running we are desperate people we want more more lord. three we are desperate people are you celebrating a harvest in russia we're tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this we're tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this gotta be more gotta be more help me say gotta be The God of wonders, what miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. Some of you are crying there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like being called to receive an award it's not a funeral if there are still people please quickly come if this is all we do tonight is worth it we used to sing an old hymn in the seminary must I go an empty handed he says must I meet my savior soul he said not one soul with which to greet him he is able to save to the uttermost it is a thief hear me it is the thief let her come she's running to jesus there is an encounter she's having this was what used to happen in the days of the generals when they would run by the spirit and come to jesus listen to me my dear people don't be ashamed of your tears your grace has found me just as I am Empty handed but alive in your hands Your majesty Thank you for heeding to this call some of you are making this this surrender not just for yourself but for generations unborn i see an elderly man one of our fathers here i see one of our mothers here young and old together this is what happens when the god of wonders when he comes to his people I want you to lift your right hand sincerely and truly from your heart you're not reciting a poem this is a declaration don't be ashamed of your tears you're before Jesus the son of the living God 
talk to him in one minute before i lead you to a prayer jesus the son of god i believe in you i believe in you i call you my messiah jesus son of god I believe in you. I believe in you. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. together in concert and some of you may not be out here but you know you should be saying this prayer hold on guys some of you are following from the US from Canada you're in your home your office and whilst you're watching right now here at Reha IC 2021 the Spirit of God is telling you to participate in this prayer because Jesus said when he comes he will convict the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment lift your hands say this after me loud from the depth of your heart and mean it say lord jesus i come before you just as i am i declare that i am unable to help myself but i thank you for dying for me thank you for your blood thank you for the cross tonight I declare that you are my Savior my Lord and my King I receive forgiveness of sin I receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness I declare by the authority of Scripture that from today and forever I am a child of God I declare a new life in Christ Jesus I declare that every guilt every shame every sin the past is gone gone forever amen keep your hands lifted your majesty we present to you the ones you died for it's an honor to lift these ones as a trophy the harvest from Riha IC 2021. Thank you for drawing as many to your loving arms, to your saving grace. You are able to save to the uttermost. I pray in the name of Jesus according to the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven. I declare that you are partakers of the life of God. I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you will open up scripture to you. I pray that he will guide you and you will be strong and mighty. May God make vessels of honor out of you. The power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of the grave, the power of the devil is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus. Help that lady there. In the name that is above all names. From today, everything that has kept you down so that you will not serve the Lord acceptably, I release you. Walk in the newness of life. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate a harvest here. Now, someone guide me. Okay, now this is what I want you to do, all of you. For a few minutes, please, I'd like you to comply. Congratulations. You will see a few counselors just waving their hands. All of you in concert while we celebrate you. I'd like you to please move. If we could have some more hands so that we'll help them fast so they can come and join the prayer. Let's celebrate them. Rogic, is this the best you can do? Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? You have done me well. You 
you have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Roger, lift your voice and say, You have done me well. 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 You have done me Please be patient because God will finish what he started this night. Are we together? This is our last session. Now, please if I may request, how many of you came with the, your prayer request? Alright, so if, if there is a way we can just facilitate the counseling with our dear people so that they can come and join because the rain is about to fall here right now. In the name of Jesus. If pastor allows, may I request that we have maybe some ushers quickly just, uh, I don't know how they're going to find a way to collect these requests. If you're yet to write or if you wrote something and your faith didn't add others, please increase it. Write it down. Write it down. We're about to pray. Whilst you're writing, I'd like you to begin to pray. You can write on behalf of your group, write on behalf of your company, write on behalf of your business, write on behalf of your children. Please. We're going to pray. The power of God is strong in this place. Ushers waving their hands, you just pass it to them. Please pass it to Ed, to any usher by your left and right. Outside, I don't know if we have those who are following online. You were given an email to send. You were given an email to send your request if you are yet to do so. Oh dear, can someone help me with the email? What what was the email address? Pray for me. Okay, so please following from whatever nation you just send your request right now pray for me at gmail.com pray for me pray for me as one word pray for me at gmail.com send it right now dot org oh i see it's not dot com it's dot org i apologize Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Hallelujah. Can I have that? Where's the gentleman that sang the, uh, what's his name now? I don't know. Where are you? Okay, so you so we'll we, we do some work, huh? I, I, I just, I want him to sing this song. It doesn't have to come up, but please just give him the mic too. Let him be part of what is happening now. Together, together. Just, just this song holy. Almighty. Where 
watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you